In the quiet corners of Algeria, a battle rages on. It's not fought with guns or tanks, but with words and silence. Journalists in this North African country face a relentless struggle. Their enemy is an authoritarian regime that fears the truth. The consequences of speaking out are dire. Lives are destroyed, families torn apart, and hope dwindles. This is a story about bravery. It's about the fight for press freedom and what it means for democracy. Every day in Algeria, journalists wake up with a heavy heart. They face threats from the government, the police, and even their neighbors. But their commitment to truth keeps them going. They know the risks. They see colleagues jailed, newspapers shut down, and dissent crushed. Yet their pens do not falter. Their courage is a beacon of hope for many. The Algerian government uses fear as a weapon. Intimidation is their tool of choice. Journalists are followed, their phones tapped. They are beaten, kidnapped, and sometimes worse. The message is clear, silence or suffer. But for many, silence is not an option. They continue to write, to report, and to resist. In every article, every broadcast, they challenge the regime. They expose corruption, highlight injustice, and give a voice to the voiceless. Their work is not just a job, it's a mission. It's a fight for the soul of their nation. Kedi Eason is one such journalist. His story is one of courage and resilience. Eason's journey began in the bustling city of Algiers. He saw the oppression around him and decided to act. With a pen in hand, he started his crusade for truth. Eason reported on government corruption. He wrote about human rights abuses. His articles were a rallying cry for many, but his work did not go unnoticed. The government saw him as a threat. They tried to silence him with threats and intimidation. Despite the dangers, Eason did not back down. He continued to write, to expose, to fight. His courage inspired others, but it also put him in the crosshairs. One day, Eason was arrested. His crime? Telling the truth. He now faces an uncertain future, but his spirit remains unbroken. The Algerian government employs a variety of tactics to suppress the press. They use legal means such as restrictive laws. These laws are designed to stifle free speech. Journalists can be arrested for vague charges like defaming the state. It's a legal labyrinth built to silence. Beyond the law, there is direct intimidation. Security forces raid newsrooms, seizing equipment and files. Journalists are detained without charges. Some are tortured, others disappear. These actions create a climate of fear. It's a warning to those who dare to speak out. Then there are economic pressures. Independent media struggle to survive. Advertisers are pressured to withdraw support. Funding is scarce, and many outlets are forced to close. The government controls much of the media landscape. It's a stranglehold that suffocates free expression. Economic hardship in Algeria is widespread. Unemployment is high and many live in poverty. This economic struggle is closely linked to freedom of expression. When people are struggling to survive, their voices are easier to silence. The government exploits this. Economic control extends to the media. Independent voices find it hard to secure funding. Advertisers are unwilling to support them. This financial squeeze limits the reach of dissenting voices. Economic hardship becomes a tool of suppression. For the public, this means less access to truthful information. When people are uninformed, they cannot hold their leaders accountable. The link between economic struggles and expression is clear. A free press is essential for a healthy economy and a just society. The international community has reacted to Algeria's press suppression. Human rights organizations have condemned the actions. Reports highlight the abuses and call for change. These voices from abroad are crucial. They bring global attention to the plight of Algerian journalists. Some countries have taken a stand. They have imposed sanctions and issued statements. Diplomatic pressure is applied, but it's often not enough. The Algerian government remains defiant. They dismiss the criticism, calling it foreign interference. Yet, global support is vital. It provides hope and validation for those fighting within Algeria. Knowing that the world is watching can be a powerful motivator. It reminds them that they are not alone in their struggle. A free press is not just a luxury, it's a necessity. It is the cornerstone of democracy. Without it, corruption thrives and justice is elusive. A society without a free press is a society in darkness. Information is power and the press is its conduit. In Algeria, the fight for press freedom is a fight for the soul of the nation. It's about more than just reporting the news. It's about ensuring that the truth is told. It's about holding power accountable. Without this, democracy cannot flourish.
The struggle in Algeria is a reminder of this universal truth. The need for a free press is not confined to one country. It's a global necessity. Press freedom is intertwined with democracy and human rights. A free press ensures that citizens are informed. It exposes abuses and holds leaders accountable. Without it, human rights violations go unchecked. Democracy withers without the light of truth. In Algeria, the suppression of the press is a direct attack on democracy. It stifles dissent and silences opposition. This leads to a culture of impunity. When governments operate without scrutiny, corruption flourishes. Human rights are trampled. The fight for press freedom in Algeria is a fight for human rights. It's a struggle to ensure that every voice is heard. It's about building a society where justice prevails. The connection between press freedom, democracy and human rights is undeniable. Global support plays a crucial role in the fight for press freedom. International pressure can influence change. When the world pays attention, it's harder for abuses to continue unchecked. Support from abroad provides moral and practical support. Human rights organizations are at the forefront of this. They document abuses, raise awareness and lobby for change. Their work brings international attention to local struggles. This global spotlight can force governments to change their ways. Solidarity from other journalists is also vital. It shows that the fight for press freedom is a shared struggle. When journalists around the world stand together, their collective voice is powerful. It's a reminder that the fight for truth knows no borders. The struggle for press freedom in Algeria needs our support. It's a fight that requires global solidarity. We must stand with journalists like Kadi Isen. Their courage is a beacon of hope. They remind us of the importance of truth and justice. We can support them by raising awareness, share their stories, amplify their voices, support organizations that fight for press freedom, call on your governments to take action. Every little bit helps in the fight against oppression. Let us not remain silent. Let us stand in solidarity with Algerian journalists. Their fight is our fight. Together, we can ensure that the truth prevails. Together, we can safeguard democracy and human rights. Let us be the voice for the silence.